Electronic Systems Engineering Technology students working in the Mobile Integrated Solutions Laboratory are getting real-world hands-on experience by working with Texas-based technology applications and NASA to develop an integrated system that will study how Regolith reacts in a micro-G environment. We're here with the uh, T-STAR folks and the uh, Electronic Systems Engineering Technology folks uh, uh, to assemble and, and complete testing on some electronics box that they've designed and built. We're flying at the station in March of 2016. It's going to be experimenting with asteroid regoliths, so how asteroid material uh, behaves in, in deep space for microgravity extended periods. NASA asked us to help them with the experiment Strata 1 um, that they're taking to the space station and wanted us to see if we could find a way to help them do that in a fast way because it's a really fast turnaround payload. Um, so we work with electronic systems engineering technology at A&M a lot on several other projects and so we talked to them about if they were available to help us do this and they were. We've been doing a number of the design, engineering work, integration um, and the Strata people down at NASA have been doing the um, implementation of the science, uh, the generation of the scientific research. Uh, so we've just been working to create a system overall together, um, taking both the hardware, software, and the scientific aspects and then integrating them into one finalized product. Uh, I'm in charge of the software. I do all the software embedded systems in C. We're doing a software box that allows us to control LEDs, cameras, and actuators. Strata 1 has four individual tubes that will test how different materials behave in a gravity-free environment. They've done some informal experiments on station, shaking, Don Pettit specifically has, has put some stuff in a bag, shaking it up and it clumps right away. And the theory is that might be how the planets were formed. The stuff actually agglomerated together and they just kept building and building and building. So that's one of the theories we're, we're going to be testing here is does it do that and if it does, does it stay together for a year? We chose A&M for a couple of reasons. Number one, Matt used to be working at NASA so we're, we know him and trust him. He's got a new company started up here and he brought um, Joe Morgan's electronic systems uh, organizations to our attention. Joe's got existing hardware that uh, we could get quickly. We knew that they could produce flight quality hardware so it was an easy decision. Um, I found the ESET program uh, where they do applied engineering um, and so really enjoy using them to do this sort of thing. My whole goal is to get students interested in space enough to excite them to come into the space industry um, after they get out of school. Um, and ESET gives a great platform for us to, to do that with several different things we're doing with them. Well, I like to brag um, with my friends. They say, hey, I did eight homework problems. I'm like, hey, I just signed the inside of an electronics box that's going to outer space, going to the International Space Station. And uh, working with this real world stuff is just uh, it's mind boggling. It's a great opportunity to work with NASA, to meet scientists, to meet these engineers, to work with them ourselves, to kind of get that one-on-one -on -one interaction. And I'm not sure any major that does the things that we are able to do in ESET. Strata 1 will be sending back experiment data every three months and will be on station for a year. The next experiment, Strata 2, will carry forward results from Strata 1 and will explore anchoring to an asteroid surface.